Boston transformed her bad experience into a blessing, and she's now the new Mrs. Black North Carolina. She's here this morning to talk with us. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Cindy. for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. All right. First of all, let's talk about the first time you ever entered a pageant, and you did it. You were bald. That's right. A lot of people don't think about that. That's right. That's right. I just thought it would be such uh, an impact. It would have such an impact on so many people to see that it really is possible to not only be comfortable in your skin, but to really feel like, you know, I'm worthy, just like any other woman with hair, to be even a a queen, if you will. And your hair is not what makes you beautiful. That's exactly right. No, That's exactly not. right. Well, you suffered uh, hair loss due to alopecia areata, right? That's right. That's right. Tell it, us about that. It started when I was 25 years old, basically. Wow. And so I, you know, was born with hair, and then it was something I didn't even know that it existed. And it started with just a little small patch that was missing, went to the dermatologist, and they told me about this autoimmune condition. And unfortunately for me, I developed the most worst case, which is alopecia universalis, where you lose all of the hair on your body. And a very rare amount of people actually have it to that extent, but as it is, it turned out to be a blessing anyway. Well, that's what I was going to say. Tell me how you were able to, to turn that into a positive, because so many people would look at it as being negative. You'd want to cover your head with yeah. a wig and all. Did, did you start out that way? Absolutely, and I still wear wigs because I love hair. So, you know, but now it's a choice. It's right. not, it's, 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 I'm over the, the part of feeling like I need to hide it. Mm -hmm. And it was about really learning how to feel comfortable in my skin because there's no cure for this disease. So you have to make a decision. Am I going to be depressed about this forever? And you can't, you can't live your life that way. So you have to get to a place where you say, you know what, if this is what, you know, my situation is, I'm going to have to make the best of it and get comfortable in my skin because it could always be so much worse. And you can stand up for, you know, so many people that, yeah. that suffer from it as well. Exactly. And I'm just grateful. I'm just really grateful to be able to come out and represent myself and so many other people. So I'm just blessed. Well, not did God only make you inside out beautiful. He gave her a beautiful voice. And you're going to share that with us now? I would love to. This is my anthem. It's called I'm Beautiful. It's a song that I wrote about my experience. And I think it will reach a whole lot of other people for different reasons, too. Awesome. Thank you. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Used to think my beauty came from the outside. So the woman in my mirror, I could not identify. I didn't recognize my smile, my eyes, my personality. No regard for my intellect or the spirit in me. I admit that I was wrong Cause my feelings had been hurt Yes, I was, but finally today I understand what I'm worth And I'm beautiful Oh, yes, I am Inside and out And this is my truth, yeah this is my truth. I'm beautiful, just as I am, with or without you. Yes, and so, so are you. Looking, there's no shortcuts to happiness. This work begins, said it never ends, and one day you will see my same reality. That after all the pain and tears, there lies a beautiful me. The beautiful. Inside and out, with or without you, yes, me, and all of you. 
Beautiful, beautiful. You can learn more about Sandra and her platform on our website, myfox8.com. Just click on the morning news. Good morning. I'm Shannon Smith out live in the strawberry field.